Hello friends and welcome to the character sketching video. Today I'm going to be sketching up some characters just in a simple and fun fashion in order to generate some ideas for a world that I'm building uh, for my project Satellite Psychic Saga. So when I'm sketching like this I'm basically just going in with very loose gestural lines trying to figure out my general pose, the general bodily anatomy, and even some of the clothing. It's sort of a really rough way to get all these ideas down and configure new and interesting ideas that I can work into the world because first and foremost my skill is to be a concept artist and that will help me to write and it also helps me to just sort of get other ideas for building the world out in general. So this is obviously very sped up. I don't work this fast, although um, in some sort of magical fantasy land I wish I could. Basically, I'm just going through and generating different body types in hopes of sparking ideas that will allow me to, again, make a better, sort of more well-rounded and believable world for the project itself. So right now these are two female figures, one shorter and more stout with a much bigger bone structure than the previous one. Both of them have sort of an attitude, hands on hips, confidence kind of thing. You can tell that uh, there's more fat on the second figure because uh, larger bones tend to hold more weight. Um, just as a rule of thumb when it comes to anatomy, uh, when it comes to your gesture drawings, what I highly suggest for figures is just tons and tons of life drawing or using sites that have timed uh, gesture drawing tools. You can Google it. You'll find it pretty easily. And do some five minute poses, do some one minute poses and two minute poses. And after about a month of practicing those every single day, you'll be able to do something that is roughly similar to this. Um, I've been at this since I was in college and I graduated in 2013. So uh, don't really compare yourself to other artists just measure against yourself and making your own work better but what I typically do when I'm working on stuff like this is I'll start with the head work my way down to the spine figure out the shoulder girdle and hips and then kind of push out from there since I've done so many figures um, in my artistic journey so far I can really easily kind of envision outfits and ideas except for some reason I think this last one I get rid of a couple times just because I wanted sort of a doctor or scientist like figure and it wasn't really coming together in a way that I enjoyed so what I'll do is I'll just get rid of it right away hit that um, that command X button that Windows or control X button just get rid of it just cut it out and we really don't need stuff that doesn't feel like it's working right off the bat um, if you've ever sat down to play an instrument and you're trying to come up with a new song or a new chord progression pretty quickly within a couple strums or a couple hits of your keyboard, you can usually hear if something is going to turn out or not. And I feel like it's the same for a drawing, especially a gesture drawing when you're just trying to generate a bunch of concepts and ideas, then it's going to feel promising. You'll get this intuitive feeling right off the bat if it's going to work or not or if it's going to be a lot of work to make it work. And typically, it's usually not worth it, in my experience. About 80% of the time, if it's a lot of work, it's not worth it. And I mean a lot of work in a cumbersome fashion. I don't mean, you know, work in general. Work being defined as mental or physical labor that begets a, an output or result. But really, if it feels like a, a toil, if it feels like a stretch and a strain, then that's usually not a good sign right off the bat. Um, there was a really awesome mangaka artist uh, whose name escapes me at the present, um, but there's a Japanese YouTube channel that if I can find it, I'll link it in the description box. But he says, if the thumbnail drawing or if the sketch doesn't go well, the next part never goes well. And that really stuck with me, so I really try to make sure that the first part goes really well and I start really strong, because otherwise it's difficult to make stuff like this uh, kind of finish out at the end of the pipeline. So speaking of the next part of the process, if you've been with this YouTube channel a while, you'll see that I knock down the opacity of underdrawings quite a bit, and then go over them with more certain lines, usually with a size 3 or size 4 uh, default round brush in Photoshop. It's one of my favorite ways to define nice lines that feel much more certain to me. If you've ever went through any of my 
uh, tutorials in the Artmaxian bundle, which includes over 20 gigabytes of content, everything I've made in the past five years running this channel. Um, then it's all in there, whether it's the beginner drawing course or whether I'm doing more advanced paintings. You've seen me do this uh, quite a bit, and it works so well that I just keep doing it and keep refining the technique. Um, sometimes I'll go up to three iterations of a drawing, but usually two is enough for me to feel certain. Uh, in this case, I'm getting rid of a lot of things because I'm not sure what I want the outfit vibe to be or her overall expression. Uh, in the end, I sort of go with more of a straight jacket aesthetic, and I'm thinking that she's going to be one of the more potent foes that my main characters face in their journey to overcome the uh, different enemies and various obstacles in their way in Satellite Psychic Saga. So again, if you're an artist and you want to start writing, or if you're a writer and you want to start arting, then just work with one or the other and see which modality serves you better for any given purpose. I find that having a really good, broad skill set allows me to synergize a lot better between different projects and thus get a really, um, really juicy creative feeling just moving through all of these different ways of kind of making my ideas visible and that's something I really want to share with you uh, is this character sketching process because it is the process of going from very rough to slightly more refined work. Anyway, this video is wrapping up. I want to thank you for your time. Again, I'm Taylor Payton. Uh, if you want to check out the Art Maxian bundle, it's only $25. Again, there's tons and tons of content, everything from drawing to painting to character concept stuff. And the full video of me going over the rest of these characters will be in that bundle as well. It'll also be on my Patreon channel if you want to support me working on Satellite Psychic Saga. Um, and I guess that's about it. So uh, if you want, you can totally hit thumbs up, subscribe, all that goodness, and the notification ding bell, whatever, general YouTube, marketing, blah, blah. But really, I do appreciate you, and I wish you happy creating. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.